Hey guys, I'm back. Good to see you again. Uh, so there's been some narrative throughout the season, and especially early, right, that the Lakers hadn't beaten any good opponents, and that certainly started to shift in December when they had the toughest schedule in the NBA and beat a lot of good teams, particularly on the road. So that's just a little uh, preceder. They're going into some LeBron sound on an exchange in the locker room in Houston. Here, take a look and a listen to that. In this most recent stint without AD, beating Dallas, Oklahoma City, this team all, all sort of in the playoffs right now in the standings. Does that mean a little more? Does it add confidence for what you guys can do postseason? Eve? Can you able to do this without AD? No, because we can't beat teams with, 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 with uh, running, uh, winning records. That's what they, that's what they say, right? You, you didn't get that one. They said that, they said, they said that in November. Yeah, November. Yeah, 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 yeah. We only beat teams with under seven. Ah, that's all right. That's all right. Just take it back. Let's, um, it's good wins for us. Yeah, yeah. It's really good wins for us. The utility of that. Man, we just won't play. It doesn't matter who we're playing. It doesn't matter if you're a playoff team, not a playoff team. You, it's just about that moment right then and there. Um, you know, you, you want to try to take the challenge, no matter if a team is in the playoffs or if a team is not in the playoffs. We lost to a team the other day who had a sub 500 uh, loss, but we didn't go. In, we don't go into games saying, okay, they're over over 500. They're below 500. We say this is a team that can beat us if we don't play to our potential, and uh, and that's how we approach every game. And we, we just try to zero in on that game plan and then move forward. So one of the more impressive things about the Lakers this season, guys, is they haven't really needed any extra motivation. They've brought it pretty much every night, especially on the road. And now four arenas on the East Coast that they have yet to be in starting here tonight in Boston. Not that they ever need any additional motivation for Lakers Celtics, but uh, it should be there. And we expect the Lakers to bring that effort as they have all season long. Hey, Mike. 1988, you were, you were a little older then. Any memories from that year, maybe? No. Yeah, I was about seven uh, then big game. Seven. All right. Yeah, um, I, and I, I was watching the NBA, but you know, not a lot of Showtime Lakers yet. But again, I know you're trying to kid me, but you know I'm coming back next game with oh, some yeah. deep Showtime Lakers Look. big game highlights. So Dude. I might even have them put together a yeah. video package. Hey, forget that. Just keep the hot dogs coming when I come down to Staples Center. <laughs> By the way, truth is, Mike well, will come back coming. with yeah. game tape and a full analysis of it. He will <laughs> <laughs> take this deep. Yeah, hot dogs out here. Yeah. yeah, hot dogs. Man, that was a great moment, by the way, in our show's history. Thank Bye, you, Mike. Man. We appreciate it. Thank you, Mike. You know, you were, you were here, right? No problem. No. James asked for a hot dog. I swear to God, Trudell was there a second later with a hot dog. Yeah, I didn't see that. And he so crushed it right on that. Too, okay. On air, huh? On yeah. air. Yeah. Two bites. <laughs> Two bites. <laughs> Two bites. <laughs> <laughs> That's your new nickname. Two, Two bites. Two bites, uh, James. <laughs> time for a little Access 360 brought to you by Morongo Casino Resort and Spa. Good time. Good times. Lakers uh, did not want to play without AD for five games, no. right, Mike? They didn't want to, but they did, and they learned a lot of valuable lessons along the way. Fish, you going to break it down? Try to. You're going to the least. wall today. A day like yeah, day, definitely right? going to the wall. Big day. day. Um, in a small sample size, yeah. as I go to the wall, you know what I mean? Happy. Like, you'll see sometimes without okay. star players, <laughs> you'll see certain areas of a team's game uh, improve a little bit. Uh, one area in particular uh, without Anthony Davis that I think the Lakers have really tried to pick up is more and more pace. Uh, a lot of possessions, even on a make here. Rondo quickly gets the ball out of bounds. A lot of times when AD is there, you know, he may get to that early post. But you see here, Lakers flatten the defense, come back up, kind of a double drag screen, going under because it's Rondo, but lack of communication, two players staying with one. Ball's going to go back to Kuz, and then he's going to make the read here. Two versus one, Cleaver rotates. Good pass on time on target to KCP in the corner. Next possession again here. Rondo pushing pace. Kuz, if AD's there, AD's already on that block. This time, Kuz goes to the block, takes that space himself. More aggressive, assertive Kyle Kuzma when you don't have Anthony Davis taking advantage of his opportunities. Here, the ball movement that happens, instead of playing through AD in the post or through the elbow, ball gets to LeBron. The whole reason for running screen roll is to get two people on the basketball, force mm. the defense to make a decision. LeBron looks off Harden with his eyes, drops it off to JaVale for the finish at the basket. And then also, defensively, Kuz has to be more engaged and more alert on that end. Put him on Westbrook. When Houston runs pick and roll, you can switch size for size. Kuz taking the challenge, arms up, defending without fouling, gets the rebound instead of deferring to someone else, pushes the ball himself, attacks, gets the foul, two free throws going to the basket. And so, Kuz in particular, I think, it, you know, it, it sounds negative in the sense to say that he benefits when a teammate is out, but Kuz's opportunities increase. There's more yeah. space on the floor for him to do what he's capable of doing. Uh, and now with AD back, 
he has to find a way to do that even though there's less opportunity to do it. Take advantage when it's there. It's a great breakdown, Fish, and, and we're going to get right into it right now with the numbers. Let's go inside access on Kyle Kuzma, and he's been better on the road, actually, than at home. Five more points per game, shooting 9% better. He's plus 127 on the road compared to minus 9 Whoa. at home. How does his role change with AD back, James, and, and what does success look like for Kuz with AD back? He doesn't have to put up 32 anymore. Yeah, I, I think... You know, I think Fish said it earlier that, you know, when AD comes back, there's going to be less for some other people. But his game should not change. I mean, he still can do other things, continue to play good defense that he's playing, uh, you know, continue to, you know, play small ball if they're playing small ball. But I think Kuz is learning how to let the game come to him a little bit. You know, he, he had a disadvantage with the injuries this summer, got a slow start, didn't really get to jail with LeBron, and so he's used to taking volume of shots. That's the way he came into the season, to play like he had been playing the past couple of years, which was, you know, high octane, volume of shots. He was scoring a lot. You bring in some veteran players, you got to learn how to massage and play a different game. I think he's getting there. Uh, but he does play, you know, with, with AD out, he gets more shots. But I think he's learning how to just let the game come to him a little bit. More. Yeah, what we're seeing is the evolution of Kyle Kuzma. You know, as a rookie, it was him and a, and a bunch of young Lakers. Uh, Lonzo, Brandon Ingram, Julius Randle have added kids, you know, mm. have fun. R run teams off the court. Last season, LeBron shows up. And LeBron was the only megastar on this team, but he liked Kuzma. And remember, he was finding him on all those deep uh, baseball passes down, down the court for easy dunks and stuff. And Kuzma felt, you know, like, hey, this is kind of cool. Well, LeBron's got another superstar now that he, he takes care of. Obviously, AD, one of the top five players in the NBA. So Kuz is now realizing, okay, it's not as, as fun and crazy as it was as a rookie, nor am I the number two guy on this team potentially like he was last season. He's got to adjust to being number three, but he has to be that number three. A little, uh, a little erratic lately, mm -hmm. but he's been good on the road, as you pointed out. And on this team, with all those vets that have yep. one mission, and that's to win yes. a championship, Absolutely. That's like no one cares about numbers. Got to take a backseat. Yeah. All right, uh, for more on a, another player, a role player who's actually playing some really good basketball.